my gosh, guys. We got one. We got one. On this thing. We got one on the snake lure. I think my wife got this as a joke for Christmas. Maybe it wasn't a joke. I have no idea. But, uh... We got a fish! Alright, hey there, welcome to Hates Wanderings. Um, for many of you, this is the first time that you're seeing me. Uh, and the reason for that is you're probably here due to this bait right here. Um, those of you that have no idea what I'm talking about, um, I just had my first video ever hit a million views on YouTube, and I'm super, super thankful to all of the new viewers, but also all my old viewers as well. I've been doing YouTube for probably seven years now, and I run a small channel, but we have a lot of fun, and I have a ton of cool content. At least I think it's cool. I hope you think it's cool as well. So my philosophy here, I'm going to go really quick into this. My philosophy is catch, release, wander. It's get out there and fish, have an awesome time doing it, wander in new places, unexplored locations, and you know release those fish back into the wild. Um, my videos show... No locations, no people, nothing but fish, nature, scenery, and uh, having a good time. So you're probably here for the snake and the other cool videos that I do. So uh, I like to do um, challenge videos where I try new baits, things like this guy right here, the jointed pike, the snake, the, uh, the BBZ1 rat right here. Um, I have a lizard that I need to still try, um, you know, the duck obviously can't go without the duck. So you're probably here because I like to do these videos where I try new baits and see if I can catch fish on them. And I just put out a short, uh, a one minute long video displaying this guy right here. This is a 12 inch Savage Gear. Uh, I think it's called a 3D wake snake, uh, 12 inches long, uh, two trebles, two spots on the front to either run it shallow or to run it uh, a foot beneath the surface. So I put this video up, caught a really nice muskie, and then I lost that muskie. And I'm going to show you guys this video right now. Whoa! As you can see, this bait looks awesome in the water, just super lifelike. And you might be saying to yourself, dude, there are no snakes in the UP. I live in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, by the way. There are no snakes in the UP. And I gotta tell you, I was out fishing two days ago. I went fishing for muskie, and a guy in the boat told me the same thing. He said, there's not, no snakes, they don't swim underwater. Um, and I was kind of agreeing with him, because I'd never seen a snake actually swim beneath the surface. And actually, later that day, we saw a 10 to 14 inch snake swimming around on the surface, and then it was diving down. I think it was trying to catch minnows. So it does actually happen. But regardless, the lure gets bit. Um, it's a really cool lure. It's a lot of fun. I've caught smallmouth on it. I've caught musky on it. I think I've caught pike on it. Yeah, I have caught pike on it as well. And so what I thought I was going to do is I'd come on here. 
and I'd give you guys the entire day, how it went down, why I dropped that fish. A lot of people commented on the YouTube video of, you know, dropping the muskie, and it happened because I was tired, and I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing, and I was decaffeinated. Uh, so I went on a two-day trip, and I had been fishing at that point for like eight, nine, ten hours, sitting in the sun. As you can tell, I'm got raccoon eyes right now because I was in the sun yesterday, but regardless, uh, very long day, and when I hooked into that muskie, I was so excited and so jacked up that I just didn't think I should have been, when I was pulling it up, I should have had my hand to support the body, but I didn't, and I lost the fish, which made it uh, relatable, I think, for a lot of the YouTube uh, um comments people were like man that happens to me too and so it was relatable um i didn't think that short was going to get any traction i wasn't expecting it um but it's currently over a million views and uh i can't even think about how many views a million is i mean most of my videos get like 500 views so a million is unfathomable uh, un unfathomable Ooh, there we go let's see if i can pronounce words correctly today um so just super cool all my new subs hey guys i have seven years worth of content that you can binge watch if you want to um some of it's quality some of it's not so quality but uh i think you'll enjoy it i think you'll enjoy uh, most of it that is um so let's keep going into the day First cast of the day, we are going with the snake, snake style. This thing looks so delicious in the water. I had some near misses. There's two videos right here. One, I had a muskie come in hot on the figure eight and I was down in the water trying to get her to bite. She actually bit at it three times and three times she missed the bait. Uh, the second muskie, um, it was really low light. I didn't see the follow until it was too late. And when I did see it, I was right next to the bank. So when I tried to do the figure eight, I couldn't get enough, uh, you know, uh, the turn radius was way too sharp. But she did turn on it, uh, but I lost that fish as well. So I was pretty demoralized by the end of the day. Nothing in nine, ten hours. And then, the, you know... Then I got that fish on this guy, and uh, it was awesome. It was pretty cool. Uh, I actually ended up catching four muskie, one walleye, and a couple of smallmouth. So it ended up being a pretty good trip. There we go. There we go. Um, and I'm going to put that video up uh, sometime later this fall when I can edit the entire thing. But I thought it'd be interesting for you, all of you, to see the, the background of what went into this one minute short. Um, and I, I think that's about it, guys. I think that's it. Um, I'm Hates Wanderings and I love to fish. So for you new subscribers, I hope you guys enjoy coming on these uh, adventures with us. It has been a long morning of absolutely nothing. I mean, I had a follow. I had a nice follow, but I haven't had a single bite. I only saw that one fish. Golly, it's been a long day. I'm about ready to say screw fishing and I'm gonna go set up my camp maybe make myself some dinner because I skipped lunch today. <laughs> uh, make dinner, set up my camp, 
and then maybe go out fishing after that. I'm just, I'm just so tired and I'm making stupid, stupid, stupid mistakes. And if I do hook into a big fish, I'm probably gonna take a hook through my hand or something because I'm just not, I'm not with it. I forgot my tea today and so I'm working on a lack of caffeine right now. I think I'm gonna give it one hour. If I haven't caught a fish in one hour, I'm done. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna set up camp. All right, I'm super tired. I'm gonna only fish for like 30 more minutes. I'm gonna try the snake. I don't know. I just, I just wanna do it. Holy smokes. I did it. Hey, got one. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh, guys. We got one. We got one. On this thing. <laughs> we got one on the snake lure. I think my wife got this as a joke for Christmas. Maybe it wasn't a joke, I have no idea. But uh, we got a fish. All right. I'm gonna hold her up so you guys can get a good look at her and then uh, we'll let her go on her way. Well, guys, remember when I said I was absolutely tired? Oh, and I knew I was gonna make a mistake. That was the mistake. I just picked up that musky and then dropped that musky before you guys got to see her. I need dinner. Ah! All right, here goes, guys. Oh, that's so good. If you're gonna lick a knife, never lick towards the blade, that would be really dumb. Lick away from the blade. Uh, to end this video today, I'm gonna go through some of the comments um, that people were posting on the video. And I'm just gonna answer some of those comments. Some of you that fish musky probably already know the answer to some of these, but, but I'm gonna go through. Um, one of the major comments was, musky will eat anything. You just gotta put it in front of their face. While that is true, it's also not 
genuine. Um, or in the sense like, sure, a muskie could eat anything and a muskie might eat anything. But for those of you that have fished for muskie, muskie will not eat everything. You can cast in front of their face for hours, days. There's a reason why they're the fish of 10,000 casts because they are tricky. They are so tricky. So yes, you know, you could cast this bait and get bit. But what was cool about it is I fished it for 10 minutes, maybe 10 minutes. And I got a fish. Okay. Um, many of the baits behind me, boop, 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 I fished for days and I've never caught a fish on them. And so they sit on my board rather than going to my tackle box because I don't even know what to do with them. So yes, muskie will eat anything, but, but that's not, that's not fair. That's not fair to this lure. Uh, some of the other comments uh, asked, does musky taste good? Um, I have no idea because people don't eat musky. Uh, they're the apex predator in the waters that I fish in. And so they're regulated as a trophy fish. You are allowed to keep one per year if you really wanted to. Um, but almost nobody keeps musky because... Um, we're trying to grow a healthy fishery and, and those, you know, you only can get huge fish if you let the big ones go. So they have to be 42 inches to keep. Um, but if we want 50 inch fish, we have to let those 42 inches go. Um, so I've never kept it musky. I don't even know what I would do with it. So no idea. Let's just say they taste terrible. So throw them back or actually revive them back into the water. Don't throw them back. Um, uh, another comment was, oh shoot, I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Uh, there was a ton of comments. Um, <laughs> a couple of people told me that it was actually a pike and not a muskie and that I was confused. Um, well, that is your opinion. Uh, I can definitively say that it was a muskie. It was a northern strain muskie. Um was not a pike. Um, Northern pike and muskie have clearly identifiable patterns on their on the flanks of the fish. And uh, I've caught a lot of muskie. I've seen a lot of muskie. I've caught a lot of pike. I've seen a lot of pike. And uh, there's once you have an eye for it, there's no mistaking it. So um, if you want to like do a freeze frame when I'm dropping the fish, look at the side of it. Um, you'll, you'll see it. It's, it's clearly a musky, but anyways, um, you know, fun comments and, uh, thank you guys so much for joining us on this journey. And, uh, I think that's about it. Let's get going and, uh, maybe leave this video and go check out my channel and some of the other really cool content, smallmouth, musky, walleye, pike, um, and a bit of other species here and there. All right, guys, catch, release, wander. I'll see you in the next one.